Hi, Blue Jackets. So happy to be back with you again. Hope you've been tr practicing hard and staying in shape and uh, reviewing all our forms and one steps that we sent you last week. We'll do some of that review over the next couple of days and then I'll really look forward to seeing you on Wednesday, March the 25th at five o'clock. For most of you, that's your regular class time. Uh, and moms and dads will help us. So hopefully moms and dads, you can run a pool noodle and a video camera at the same time or set up a st static camera and then join us in the workout. That would be terrific. So see you all then. Moms and dads, check your email. I'll send you a direct link on class day on how to join us for that class. Look forward to seeing you then. Now let's get on with our class. All right, everyone, let's begin with a good little warm up today. We'll just uh, get ready to do the forms and one steps and kicks and sparring and things that we're going to be working on today. So remember, we want to do a general workout for our whole body, just warm up a little bit, get our heart rate up a little bit, and then we will do specific stretching, specific warm ups for those stretches uh, before we get going. So let's do full body workout. Let's start out with 20 jumping jacks. Ready? Go. One, two, three. So let's uh, warm up those hamstrings just by doing 10 squats together. So again, just go down as far as you can do safely. One, two, three. Do your best to keep your heels on the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten. Okay, so now we're going to go into stretch number 11. Again, be careful with your hamstrings and work your way down into it. Okay, so you start with one knee on the ground. Push the other foot far out in front of you. Sometimes you can lift up the leg behind and push it back. And stretch. Keeping body upright. And now as you get more comfortable, Put your chest down towards the floor. And come on up. And just walk around and do the other direction. So, leg out in front of you, body upright. Do a little bit more. And then lean down into it. So next, we're going to do stretch number 12. So let's do five star jumps together. So the idea is not to do them fast. The idea is to get high and wide. So warm up our hips. Careful on your landing. Make sure your feet are back together and knees bent. Okay? So let's do five of those. Ready? And go. Great. Okay. So warm up the hips a little bit, put your feet this comfortably apart, and body upright, rotate, lean down towards your left leg, leg straight, pull your chest to your thigh, come on up, big straight and around. Just a little bit wider. Again, back straight, chest out, lean forward, lean down, hang your weight. Okay. All right, so one more for upper body as well as for our legs. Let's do five burpees together. So our physical challenge this week is going to be to do 25 burpees for color belts, 50 burpees this week for people who are black belts or are getting ready for black belt. 
So let's get five of them done right now, okay? So four, remember it's six counts, and three of those counts are jumping, okay? So do with me, ready? One, two, three, four, Jack. So let's spend some time reviewing your forms and your one steps. I know most of you know them really, really well and you're chomping at the bit to test your new belts. But let's see if I can help you do these a little bit better today. And we'll spend lots of time on this in the next two weeks until everybody feels like they're really ready. So let's begin with our one steps. My bad guy's over here. So let's go through number one, double knife hand block. Bend both your knees, both your hands are traveling the same direction. Now, cross your arms, keep the, back, the hand that's in the front open and the back hand closes and then pull into single knife hand strike. So this is double knife hand block, both hands traveling the same way, then single knife hand with your hands pulling apart. This elbow should be coming directly behind you as tight as you can get it. And then make the adjustment to whatever you need to do to do kick, kick. Front kick, round kick. Front kick is toes straight towards the roof and round kick is the toes horizontal. Okay? So remember we need to evade but double knife hand. So let's try that together. Ready? Double knife hand, chop, front kick, round kick. Now you're all blue jacked so make sure you're keeping your hands up all the time you're kicking. That's really important for self-defense. Really important for sparring, as you know. So other side of the body, evade, chop, make whatever adjustment to distance you need to do, front kick, round kick, okay? So the hardest thing about these blue jacket one steps is targeting. So being able to hit on exactly the target that you want to with the weapon appropriately. So make sure you're getting as close as you can safely you can practice on a pillar in your garage or a tree in the backyard, uh, but be very, very careful when you're practicing with people. Hopefully you'll have a partner, maybe mom or dad can hold pads for you, pool noodle, something like that, so that you can practice this. All right, let's go on to the second one, second one. So this is single, outer form block, folds underneath, evade, excuse me, that's not correct, single knife hand block, single knife hand block palm heel, step up in the middle stance closer to the person, and then middle, middle. So two punches just like in the form. So this is the one step that's closest to the form. Uh, the side of the body, so close your, uh, the hand's gonna go behind you, open the hand's gonna come in front of you, and look. Same thing, elbow strike strongly behind you, that's the hand's gonna be next shot. Reach out with this hand, palm heel, move up, and middle, middle punch. Try to make one hand replace where the other hand went, okay? So, uh, these open and closed hands are a big coordination challenge. So try to make sure that you're preparing in advance for which hand needs to be open, which hand needs to be closed. Choose before you start the movement, okay? All right, number three is our favorite one, right? So evade, get off the line, reverse punch, now again, you can use front foot or back foot, whatever you need to do to make the distance be able to save for your partner. Uh, but in the form, it's gonna be front foot. So you can modify the one steps to be safe. Modify the one steps to practice on both sides of your body, but make sure that you're not touching anybody. All right, jump front kick, and then reverse punch. Okay, so let's try that on the other side. Evade. Reverse punch, jump front kick, and reverse punch. Now all of these are closed hands, so that makes that one a little bit easier. Okay, so those are the one steps. So let's do this now. Please go and practice those three times on each side of your body, and then come back and tell me how you did.
All right, so welcome back. So I hope that you practice really well on both sides of your body and make sure that you are changing legs as well as changing the sides that you're stepping. So now that you've done those really well, I want you to go ask somebody to video you doing these one steps. So make sure that they look from the outside to other people the way you think they look when you're doing your strongest, okay? So remember that goal is not to do these strong, excuse me, not to do them too fast so that you lose power. So make sure you're doing them as strongly as you possibly can, okay? So go get someone to video you and then come back. Put me on pause, go get some help. Okay, welcome back. Let's do the form now. So the form, most of you know extremely well. I just want to make sure that we give you a few fine pointers on this and also help you to understand the difference between doing this as a form and doing these as one steps. So yes, we are stringing the one steps together, but they're a little bit different, okay? The first big difference is that instead of evading away on each first move, we're actually moving in. So you move directly on the same line as the attacker and you have to rely on your hands and your timing to be able to protect yourself. So number one, two, turn across your left, and then do number three, and then one, two, on the opposite side that you started on, and then turn across your right to the other side. So let's walk through this, okay? So step forward, double knife hand. Make sure you're bending your knees. These are both hands open, and then backhand closed when you chop. Now this time, we don't have a choice on the foot. We are going to use back foot front kick, new leg round kick. Right as a landing out of our round kick, that's when we're doing the block. So it should look like this. Round kick, fold, block on your landing. One more time. Round kick, fold, block on your landing. Stay right where you are, reach out with this hand. Palm heel now, move into horse stance, or middle stance, punch, punch. On the side that's not busy, your left side turn all the way around into front stance, reverse punch, front kick, reverse punch. So that's all with the, uh, the first side. Now, to make sure that we change sides, we're going to walk forward on our right, do number one, one step again, and, and remember, fold right as we land. We're doing this palm, uh, knife hand. Palm heel, step up, middle stance, then turn on the side that's not busy, reverse punch, jump front kick, reverse punch. Now, when does that hand stop? When the foot lands. So, jump front kick, reach, punch. So, I'll step down a little more loudly so you can hear it uh, hit. Jump front kick, right on the punch. Okay? All right. So most of you, again, know this really, really well. Please go practice it three times as strongly as you can on every move. Come back and see me. Put me on pause. Go do that. Thank you. Okay, welcome back. I hope you did awesome one uh, form and turned those one steps into something really special that everyone will be excited about seeing. Remember, I'm going to see it on video in the next week or two, so work hard on that. Okay, so now go ask somebody to video that for you and that way you can get really good feedback on how smoothly this is flowing and how strongly every single move is whether you're refolding your kicks and whether you have hand foot timing when you land out of each step thanks for working hard with me today i'll look forward to seeing you tomorrow a couple more things i want to talk to you about today so i'll look forward to seeing you for those segments thank you Our Black Belt Challenge this week is patience. We talked about this quite a bit last week, and I'm sure it's become even more important this week, as it will next week and the week after that. So one of our dads has an email tagline that reads, patience is not the ability to wait. Patience is the ability to have a good attitude while waiting. Doctors are telling us now that having fit bodies and calm minds are really important to health. So we need that reminder. Aristotle told us 2,400 years ago that patience is bitter, but its fruit is sweet. So apparently we've known for a long time that patience is difficult. 
the journey from white belt to black belt is really only about one thing, and that is learning the self-discipline to do difficult things, like keeping our patience. So what did the left eye say to the right eye? Between us, something smells. <laughs>